everyone how are you welcome back to my channel this is my hit pan <laughs> things that i hit pan when it comes to makeup and also my mac empties five things that i hit pan so i'm gonna go pretty quickly this one is by mac it's the studio fix powder you guys know what this is this is the nc35 and this is how it looks when you hit pan i noticed that my makeup wasn't looking as fresh as when you buy a new powder from mac have repurchased it in my Black Friday haul. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it down below. And it's a big collective Black Friday haul if you haven't seen it. So there you go. I really want to try the prolonged wear though powder. I want to see what's the difference, you know. So yeah, it's a favorite of mine and I will forever repurchase this. Because I love it so much. Okay, next thing is blush. Um, this one is from MAC. Another MAC product and this one is Instant Chic. This came out in the Pret a Pepier collection a long time ago. And this one is a mixture between pink and pink and peach, I would say. <laughs> That's more on the pink. Very wearable, very neutral. The only thing about this blush, although it's you know, it's a sheer tone blush, it was so hard for me to hit pan. Like I had to work really hard to hit pan. I think it was sheer tone blushes. I don't know for some reason. Um it was so hard for me to hit pen, but I did, so I'm very happy. And you see, there you go. This thing is my bronzer. This one is by Tarte. It's the um, Park Avenue Princess. And I recently, well, I bought this one, I remember, back in the spring of this year. And there you go. Here it is. I absolutely love this. I wouldn't say for bronzing, because I didn't use it today for bronzing. I used it mostly for... Um, for a little bit of nose soft nose contouring just a little bit just like a light touch and then right here in the bottom as well yeah on my chin and it's really nice i like how soft it is and it looks very natural on the skin and yeah so will i repurchase it i already have so many times but i really want to try the Too face i think it's the milk chocolate yeah that's on my wish list next but will i repurchase it in the future most likely yeah <laughs> okay next um eyeshadows uh yeah this one is by wet and wild this one is silent treatment and i used this one in my get ready with me video recently and i'll link it down below if you want to see it it was taupe eyes and lolita lips yeah i remember and i used the one well the eyeshadow that i hit pan was this one the one that says eyelid and it's like an iridescent uh, taupe. So beautiful. Very affordable. I think this was $2.99. And there's the swatch right there. Really pretty. Beautiful on the eyes, I think. The swatch is a little heavier than when you put on your eyelids. And yes, that will be a purchase. <laughs> Next. This thing that I hit pan is from Urban Decay. This one is the Naked 3 palette. And this one is Dust. <laughs> right here the one that I hit pan right there and it's very shimmery like I have to be careful with it because I have very little I don't want it to go to waste name me swatch it for you but you guys have seen how dust looks like it's right there it's like a really beautiful um, beautiful pink huh will I repurchase this most likely I don't think so I'm gonna start trying to hit pan on the other ones yeah things that uh it's empty from mac and i'm going to do back to mac okay talk about the fix plus um this is the old packaging i know it doesn't come like this no more and it's empty and it's just water right here because i use it for my beauty blender i spray my beauty blender with this uh, water yeah so will i purchase it already have next empty from mac is this one is my foundation which i love is the prolonged wear right there yeah and i think it's really pretty i think this foundation you don't necessarily have to use a primer unless you want to because i want to use up my tarte um primer i do use it with the tarte primer that's been a favorite of mine and i have recently purchased it so yes awesome foundation love it okay full coverage with that i love this one which is the concealer the matching concealer Prolonger concealer and 
I don't have anymore. <laughs> it's gone. And I haven't purchased it. So, yeah. It's a favorite of mine. The next thing, I didn't hit pan though. But I am going to do back to MAC. Because I don't see myself using this blush anymore. And it's dainty. And I remember when I used to be into this um, pink semi normalized blush. Um, blush. And do you see right there? Yeah. And I used to love it, but I'm not into that no more. So I decided I'm just going to do back to neck. <laughs> Yeah, so there you go. I think that was it. Not a lot of stuff that I have. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to click that like. Don't forget to subscribe. Comment down below if you have also hit pan or are you going to do back to Mac? <laughs> do you have any empties for Mac <laughs> that you're going to do back to Mac? Because I know I am. But I'm trying to think what lipstick I want for free. So, anyways. <laughs> I'll let you guys know in the description box. Check out the description box because sometimes <laughs> when I write there, it's there too. Yeah, so thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.